earned ourselves another steel book. You already read the title, so let's just get into it. They gave us this one big bag for this one small little item. But uh, hey, no complaints. Baby Driver! I had to get this. This concept art is so god dang awesome! It doesn't tell us who created this awesome artwork. It just says, only at Best Buy. Project Pop Art. Hey, Pop Funkos. I also collect Pop Funkos. <laughs> Limited edition steelbook. Anything from Edgar Wright, I must own. He is one of my top awesome directors of all time that is working today. And uh, yeah, this is a good way to say, hey, I'm supporting you. Ah! Over two hours of high octane speed. Special features. <laughs> hey! All you need is one killer track. Ow! What I like about this movie is Edgar Wright made it like a musical, but not really a musical. Not like a breaking of the fourth wall type of musical, but every little thing is on beat. I just love the stickers, but it, they just have to go. I'd rather have the stickers on this wrap instead of the actual steel book or a slip cover. That drives me insane because I'm trying to get the sticker off and go! Ah! It just ruins the goddamn cover. Oh my god. Digital HD with ultraviolet. Wrappers off. Ooh. It's, it's, it has that matte feel. Uh, hmm. Dang it, there is a scratch on it. Son of my children. There was only three copies. And this was the only one that wasn't bent. The other two was just manhandled somehow. It looked like someone had the steel book in their hands and they just headbutted it five times and they were just like, all right, I'm strong because I'm still conscious but I'm still an idiot. Scratch on here, that will drive me insane. I'm not sure if I should... Do I still have the receipt? Where'd that goddamn bag go? Oh man, I think I threw away the receipt. Best Buy, why don't you take care of your merchandise? It does have... Oh no. Usually I like keeping the dang, ah, oh, I might, if I could find that receipt. I can't handle this, guys. I can't handle it. Best Buy, what is up with you? Oh, man. Uh, I don't even know, I don't remember what I was talking about. Let's take this off. Ooh, I love this goddamn back. Woo-wee. It's like a turntable. It feels so good on your fingers. Opening up the steel book. Ooh, they kind of miss the target on this one. There's nothing on there. I'm disappointed in how they handled their merchandise, god dang it. And I'm so disappointed and surprised that Sony distributed this movie. Ah, uh, Sony, you are, I don't know what happened to you. What I love about this movie is the tracks that you're listening in the movie, they are in real time. It is happening, they choreographed it with the music and they paced it as they were listening to it. So every beat had to be on point. That's why I said it was like a musical. Everybody had to listen to a track and they had to go with the specific strict choreography that is on beat with that track. In the second chasing, Edgar Wright was told that the song is gonna play out. Everything was supposed to be established uh, what was going on to the audience and they said, you know, that song is gonna be played out. Edgar Wright was saying, well, hey, we'll see, all right? We'll see. I'm telling you, Edgar, the goddamn song is gonna play out. Yeah, and Edgar was wrong. So I told you, Edgar, I told you. I fixed it, right? I had an idea. That idea was when they were transferring cars, he had to rewind the song back to rejuvenize and then play off that track from there. BAM! I'm telling you, when you see this movie, there is way more to the art of it. It is uncanny on how Edgar Wright is so goddamn brilliant. Everything behind the scenes is just so really 
inspiring that I know. Oh, Edgar. Baby driver. Oh, oh, I want to keep this. I mean, look, man. Look at that. Everything else is perfect except for that little scratch. Love that record as the CD. Well, guys, hopefully your day is a blast. Oh, hey. Oh, boy. Because I'm not having a blast watching. Oh, God. Ugh. I gotta drive this baby back to Best Buy. Uh